let me ask you a question. Do you want to make more money off the sale of your home? Thought so. Stick around and I'll show you how. Hey everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to list the five essential things that you, with the help of your realtor, must do before listing your home for sale. And I'll also tell you how you can enter my latest giveaway, where you'll have a chance to win something really cool. It's pretty simple to enter, so hang tight and I'll give you all the details at the end of this video. So let's get started. Here are five things you and your realtor will need to do before you list your house for sale. First, identify small repair jobs that need to get done in and around your home. These are the small things that you've been putting off. You know, the honeydew list. Yeah, that stuff. If you notice a doorknob sticking, whip out that WD-40 and spray that sucker. And if that doesn't work, well, then you might need a locksmith to replace the whole thing. Basically, all those things you look at every day and say to yourself, man, I gotta get that fixed. Well, now you really gotta get that fixed. Because these little things, they add up. The best thing to do is for you and your realtor to walk through your entire home looking for all the things that need repair. Your realtor has a keen eye for these things and will be able to point out things that need to be done immediately. Now, if you're the handy type, you can try to tackle these repairs on your own. But if you're not as handy as you'd like to be and think you need some help, then don't worry. Your realtor will be able to refer someone through his network of professionals. Next, you'll need to stage your home. Now, when most people hear the word staging, they automatically think it involves a huge investment to completely overhaul all the furniture in their home. But in some cases, it may just involve adding a few accent pieces to each room. Each home is different, so this is where your realtor will help you identify what needs to be done or they'll bring in a staging consultant. Either your realtor or staging consultant will walk through your entire home and determine if you need a few accent pieces or a few rooms staged or the entire home needs to be staged. It's important to know that it's rare that every room in a home needs staging. Rely on the advice of your realtor. They will decide the right strategy for your home. Next up, do a deep clean of your home. Once all the small jobs are done, it's time to thoroughly clean your entire home. Again, this is something you can try to tackle on your own, but as a realtor, I usually have a cleaning company go through my client's home so its interior shines like a polished jewel. This includes bathrooms, tubs, inner window sills, and appliances, including the inside of your fridge and stove. This will give it a fresh new feeling. A dirty home is typically a turnoff to buyers, and it could end up being a bargaining chip that buyers can leverage during negotiations. Not a good thing. Bottom line, a clean house is a better house. And if you don't know which company to choose, again, rely on your realtor's network as they will refer a trustworthy company that does a great job. Okay, real quick. Do you like this video so far? Are you finding it helpful? Then I'd appreciate your support by giving it a like. And while you're at it, why not subscribe and comment? It definitely helps with the algorithm, but more importantly, it helps me determine what kind of content you'd like to see in the future. The next step is to ensure you get professional photos done. Do not underestimate the value of professional photos when selling your home. It's been stated that over 90% of home buyers start their search online, whereby they browse photographs of houses in the areas they're considering. This means that a buyer's first impression will likely be a photograph of your home's exterior. You'll want to ensure your home is presented in all its glory with a photograph taken and edited by a professional. The goal is to have a photograph that is so stunning that it immediately captures the attention of the viewer and it entices them to learn more about your home by clicking on it. Lastly, there's the marketing plan, which in my opinion is probably the most crucial step because you've done all this work to prepare your home and now it's time to show it off to the world. I don't understand why, but some realtors seem to overlook this step. It's just crazy to me. Why on earth would you put all this effort into preparing a home and then not have a strategy for people to actually see it or even know it's for sale? Instead, your realtor should have a plan outlining how they will promote your home to attract buyers. It should detail both traditional advertising methods as well as online strategy. If your realtor is anything like me, they will have a solid and proven marketing strategy ready for you well ahead of time. There you have it, five essentials before you list your home. These tips are great but they're just the starting point which ultimately requires the help of your realtor. There are, however, a few other things you can do that will boost your home's value by up to 5%. And the best part, you can do them yourself in just one weekend, no realtor required. Seriously, these are simple things that anyone can do and it will earn you thousands of dollars in return. If you wanna learn more about these easy powerhouse hacks, head over to my website at fredrenna.com slash sell your home for more. 
There, I'll share the secret to increasing your home's value by up to 5%. And it's absolutely free. And before I go, I just want to remind everyone to enter my Race to 1000 giveaway. All you got to do is subscribe to my channel. That's it. And you're automatically entered. Watch the video linked above and find out what you can win. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.